Bernate Lattice Yarn from Yarnspirations. This stuff has been on my radar for a little while. As soon as I saw it on their site, I knew that I wanted to wait until it was in one of my local Joanne fabrics. I wanted to see the colors in person, even though I kind of knew the ones that I wanted. Since I am doing a witchy theme for my springtime movie decor, the black, the mossy green, those two were screaming to me, which is exactly what I got. But I am very glad that I waited because when I saw it on the site, it had the example picture, which was this beautiful crochet waffle. I think it's just a throw actually. Eight balls of yarn. The pattern is on the inside, which I love when they do that. Okay, one row repeat type of blanket. Add some tassels. I am definitely gonna save this pattern. I have a little pamphlet that I have been collecting all of my blanket patterns. I love a good easy one for the end of the night too. And also I save my tags for the end of the month just to kind of go back and see all the goodies that I've worked up. I didn't, however, make this one, but I do have an entire project fully made and I wanted to wait until this was officially done and I could test it out a little bit because this is something that I was thinking would be really good for spring, maybe summertime home decor and maybe even indoor outdoor. Bringing blankets, pillows outside, have a little coffee in the morning, which is why it's been in the yarn dungeon for a couple of weeks. I've been working it up, trying to finish it and test it out a little bit. I'm not even gonna make you wait. I love it. Like, like this is, I'm going to have more of this. There will definitely be more decor pieces of it. But the first thing that I created was this blanket, which started as a swatch. I was just testing it out. Did the granny's cluster stitch, did a tiny little square, and then just kept going, which means that it's a fantastic yarn. Like if I don't want to put a yarn down, yeah, I like this yarn. I want to work with it more. It's worth me figuring out some other patterns to go along with it, which is never an issue because it's your inspirations. I don't even know that this is the pattern like specifically made for this yarn or if it's just a pattern they thought would look great with this and they just tossed it on the label because they have so many of them. And there's a little code down here, just scan that, go right over yarnspirations.com, free patterns. They really should say tons of free patterns because I can spend hours and hours there looking through everything. Rugs would be amazing with this, especially because it's 54% polyester, 28% acrylic, 18% nylon. It says that you can throw it in the wash and the dryer. I don't know if I'm gonna do the dryer. Well, okay, this one has gone through the wash twice. And yes, I haven't wove any of my ends in, which there's only like two or three of them. Cause this was four skeins and this is a quarter of a skein, which now that it's all done and I've used it a couple times, I really wish I would have just done one color of each, like got more of this. But at the time they only had two of these in stock and I was just impatient and I wanted to work it up that day. So I just got the two that they have, but I might check and see if they have any more and make like two totally different blankets. So what I've been doing is dragging it out with me in the morning to have coffee which I got this done just in time because yesterday we had a snowstorm. So obviously I'm not sitting outside with coffee at the moment. It's not that it's resistant to the elements. It's just a yarn that I don't feel I have to be delicate with. Like I can drag this around. I can throw it on the ground. I'm not a huge picnic person, but I feel very confident if I wanted to throw this on the grass and like set up a little area to crochet outside, then bring it back in, wash it up, have it ready for tomorrow. It's going to hold up. Like I said, this is wash number two and it still looks, I mean, basically new. It's fluffy, nothing is matted down, pretty much looks exactly like it does in the skein here. Now I can't say obviously about throwing it in the dryer. It does have full directions with it. Wash in warm water, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I threw it on cold. So again, I kind of altered it a little bit, but that's how I do all my crochet blankets. If they're safe to go in the washer, it's in cold water. Don't bleach, tumble dry low, don't iron, don't, and don't dry clean. Okay, there we go. So basically you can throw it in the dryer on a very low setting. I don't know. I just personally, 
I'm not going to. I'm okay with laying it flat to dry. It's a small enough throw blanket. It's not gonna be a nuisance to me, but it is always nice to have that option. More about this. So this one that I immediately saw and was like, yes, pillows, throws, all of the things is called charcoal. Right now, since it's springtime, I'm just, I'm really feeling the mossy greens, which is why this one screamed at me when I saw it on their site. But they have quite a range of colors. Like I was really impressed with what they had. All very springtime colors, but I was incredibly happy that there was a black and I don't know, I'm just feeling the greens, obviously. We got this cute little cardigan today. There's a gray, a cherry, a heather, some blue, some teals. The one that I didn't think I was going to like, but when I saw it in person, oh my gosh, there's so many ideas. I might go back to get this one, the rust mix. So many things that I could think of. And even just my pillow colors for my trick or treat decor that I have. The texture that's in here though, I love the burnt orange, the light orange, a little bit of yellow, some white pops of gray. The more I work it up, it's a really interesting yarn, which is good because I want to reach for it. I'm excited about the yarn. It's something that I wanna make more projects with it. When you initially pick this up, you're gonna wanna make all the cozy blankets. Like seriously, trust me, because it is so incredibly soft. 54% polyester, 28% acrylic, and 18% nylon. And it was really, really fun to work it up. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but like, it was so fun. Enjoyable to work up with, especially, my hands are just so dry right now, so I'm, extra sensitive to the yarn type that I'm working with. And you know, like there are just some yarns that I have, I love them, but right now I just will not use them. It's just the winter season and no matter how much lotion I put on, which it is a lot, I'm just, I'm constantly crocheting. So I'm just pulling that moisture out of my hands all throughout the day, even though I'm adding it back in with lotion and I have shea butter and just like all of the things. So I have a couple, that I've just like placed away for right now. But this one, it feels very buttery. It doesn't matter how often I use it. I've been, well, I mean this entire project, I sat down and finished it in a couple of days. Even though I had other projects going on, I kept going back to this one and I wanted to finish it. I wanted to work it up. Not only is it super soft, but it's really interesting. There's just a lot of things going on. And not that that's essential, but I like it when a yarn is fun and it's not super boring. Right now it's on sale for $9.74 a skein, regularly priced $12.99. At the time I saw this pattern and it said eight balls of yarn would make the blankets. For whatever reason, I was like, okay, that's a lot. I'm not gonna commit to that right now. I'm just gonna work it up, see if I like it. This one is four, basically five. So I'm pretty much all the way there. I will be making this waffle one though, minus the tassels. The tassels and I, we don't always get along and that would be a lot to put on there. So I think I'll just do a plain version of this. Bark is another one that's really pretty, screams fall time. Kind of a perfect line to have out when halfway to Halloween is right around the corner. Only other yarn that I can kind of compare this to is the Bernate Forever Fleece in the intensity of softness. So obviously that one is a little bit bigger, it's a little chunkier, although they do have the Bernate Forever Fleece fine, finer and finest, so they have really, really thin ones too. This definitely is more of a springtime because of the way that it drapes. Spring morning, you just want a little cozy to wrap up in. This is gonna be the yarn for sure. I feel like I've been using the Bernate Forever Fleece for so many blankets. Finally, there's another one that's a little bit of a contender. Obviously, I hope that they keep this around just for a little bit so I can make a few more pieces with it. But either way, I am definitely gonna stock up on this color. It doesn't say limited edition or limited time only. So maybe if enough of us love it, they'll keep it around for a little bit or at least through the summertime so I can make a couple of throw pillows to go with my blanket. I would love to hear what you think about this. If you've used it or you were like obsessing over this and now want to try it because I've been raving about how freaking soft this is, leave me a pumpkin emoji in the comments down below. Thanks for having a little bit of yarn chat with me and I will see you in my next video.